we go one and two on the three best prop bets for UFC Paris. But luckily, that one prop that ends up hitting gets us into the black, essentially, or slightly in the green, with a Morgan Sherrier round two plus 370 hitting in the opening seconds of the second round. Uh, we did have Nora Knoll by decision at plus 390, which was very close considering she lost by split. And then Joe Anderson Brito round three plus 650. Uh, Willem Gomez looking much better than we've ever seen him before. Did not slow a, slow a bit. Uh, and that obviously did not allow us to hit our round three prop there. Uh, our Brian Battle round three long shot at plus 1400 was almost over the finish line uh, had uh, Kevin Jusse been able to survive at least another few minutes there, making it into the third round it would have been without a doubt that Brian Battle would have turned up the pressure and got the finish the way that he did in the second round. So we were a little around too early here on Brian Battle. Uh, very close. Hopefully we end up hitting it next time. Alright, let's get right into the three best prop bets that we have for UFC 307. Starting off with the shortest odds on the mall with Joaquin Buckley to win by decision at plus 125. I do think his grapple heavy approach that we've been seeing him implement in recent fights will pay off for him here as he goes up against Stephen Wonderboy Thompson who has you know very much struggled with guys looking to take him to the ground and keep him in those positions. I think Buckley can be competitive enough in the striking but it's really going to be his wrestling and top pressure that are going to cause a lot of troubles for for a guy like uh, Wonder Boy, who has been struggling to get off of his back and even struggling even more in terms of getting taken down. So look for Buckley to go out there, chip away at Wonder Boy, and pick up the biggest win of his UFC career. And I hope he does it by decision. The second best prop bet is going to be a ballsy one, but seems pretty good for the price we're gonna go juliana pena by submission at plus 575 now we know that she has a wrestling and grappling advantage here over raquel pennington and we'll likely see her have many opportunities to get into those dominant positions to potentially set up a submission whether it's an arm triangle or a rear naked choke i think pennington is the better overall fighter here but that doesn't mean she won't be able to stay out of these bad positions look for pena to, pena to do a great job in terms of getting this fight to the ground and then like i said getting to the position she needs and i think that plus 575 has a damn good shot of her uh hitting considering how many opportunities we'll have with this fight being on the mat so give me pena by sub at plus 575 the third best prop bet here is going to be Alex Poetan Pereira round two, a knockout at plus 365. I think it's going to take him about five minutes or so to start getting the timing of round three down and start setting up his traps so that he can eventually land that big shot to put round three away. Now, I do think that this fight is going to be slightly closer than the odds suggest, which is why I don't really like Pereira uh, money line here at plus 460. And even taking maybe small sprinkles on round three, round one KO, round two KO, round three KO, which are plus 1050 plus 1200 and plus 2100 respectively not a bad way to hedge if you find yourself over uh, overexposed on Pereira but in terms of a specific prop I do feel pretty good about Pereira getting it done in the second round finding the spots that he needs to and then eventually landing that big bomb to get the knockout and cashing that plus 365 play the long shot that I'm going to go with you guys here again it's usually it's kind of on the cusp of what i call a long shot plus 600 is normally the line that i put for uh um props that i would consider long shots at least for this segment so i'm going to make it uh oven same proof to win by decision at plus 600 now we know ryan span has an issue in terms of winning decisions because he's just not as effective later in fights as he normally is Perfect proof is his last matchup against Anthony Smith, where he hurt him very badly in the second round, but then had no success in the third round, even after breaking the orbital of Anthony Smith, slowing him down as much as he did in the second round, but was still unable to get anything done in the third round. Uh, with St. Prue, if he can avoid that early finishing threat that span normally brings to the table he should do a good enough job with his footwork and his long-range weapons that are going to cause a ton of trouble to uh ryan span uh not allowing to him to touch or counter st pru uh, and i think that will lead to st pru going out there uh and doing enough on the judges scorecards to win rounds two and three so give me st pru by decision at plus 600 all right there you guys go three best prop bets plus a long shot Good luck on all your action, folks. That's all my content for UFC 307. I will see you guys Monday for the Contender Series Week 9. I can't believe there's only two Contender Series left. Hopefully, we can finish it as strong as we've been doing over the last couple of weeks. Appreciate all the new love, the new subscribers, the new support. Let's kill Contender Series. But first, UFC 307 is on the hit list. Good luck this weekend, folks.